Yeah, 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 you know it's your boy Richard. I'm back at you once again, guys. So happy to be back. Um, today what I have on the menu to, to make is corned porridge, right? I was asked by one of my good friends and subscribers as well um, to do a, a video on cornmeal porridge. Cornmeal porridge is one of those diverse porridge that you can put it with almost any other ingredients, right? You can switch it up, right? So what I'm gonna do for the first video on cornmeal porridge is do the very basic and then as I go forward with videos, I'll make more and more, add more and more items to the cornmeal porridge. All right, so I'll probably give you like about five different versions, all right? For this video, what I'm gonna do is just do, like I said, the basic, and we're gonna use very, very simple and small amount of ingredients, all right? Okay, so we have here some almond milk. I have about a cup of uh, cornmeal, and this is the fine one. You could use a rough one, whatever you, you prefer. You're gonna need a bowl with a spoon. You're gonna need nutmeg. This is for flavor. You're gonna need a condensed milk, a sweet condensed milk. Right, you're gonna need some vanilla essence, some almond extract, and a little bit of salt. All right, and then of course, um, we're just gonna combine everything in this not everything, the cornmeal along with some almond milk in the bowl, and then we'll put it in a pot on the stove that is already preheating. So, what I'm gonna add in the bowl is the cornmeal, all right, and you can use water. In this case, we're trying to keep it as creamy as possible. So I'm gonna use some almond milk to kind of hydrate the cornmeal. All right. I wanna get it to a, a smooth consistency. All right. One other trick to making cornmeal porridge is that you never let it sit, right? You wanna constantly stir it so you move it, right? Cause it's starchy, right? It has starch in there, but it's not the bad kind of starch. It has fiber in there, it's iron. So, there's a bunch of good stuff. So, right now I add about a cup and a half of milk. Okay. Okay guys, as you can see how watery it is, I'm satisfied with this consistency. And the good thing, uh, if I can make a recommendation, what you need to have, always have with you, if you're not certain um, of the consistency, or because it, it'll start developing body, and it may get too thick, right? So what you want to have is always have. I always usually have some milk on the side, or even better, some warm water, so that you don't slow down the cooking process, right? You can always add some water if it's too thick. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put some milk in the pot, warm it up, and then I'm going to pour this in it and get the cooking going. Okay, so I've added some vanilla, and now I'm gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of salt just to balance it out. Okay guys, so I have my water flavored. Like I said, I added some salt, a little bit of uh, vanilla extract. So it's smelling good already. So I'm gonna just pour this. And while I'm pouring, the trick is that you, you keep it moving, guys. You wanna keep it moving. Give it a stir. Because if you don't, it's gonna become lumpy. See that's like a nice a nice consistency. And at some point when it uh, starts boiling, if you realize that it's getting too thick, like I said, it's always good to have a pot with some hot water. Allow some some milk. See the consistency. This is gonna be a nice, a nice little, you know, corn meal porridge. Okay, guys. As you can see now, it's been about three or four minutes. Okay guys, so now it's cooking, so it starts to get thicker, right? It's not too thick, but at this point, I wanna make it a little smoother, right? 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some warm water. Mm, you can smell the vanilla. Ooh. Right? See that? It's nice and smooth. So just keep stirring it. I like that consistency. So it's all coming together. And you just keep stirring it because if you don't, it's going to start burning at the bottom and it's going to become lumpy. Right? So we just keep stirring it up. Just like that. At this point, I'm going to turn on the stove to a low heat, you know, because now it's going to start popping and splash everywhere if you want. If you have the, the stove too high. See that? Nice consistency. You just keep stirring it. Make sure that it's it's not lumping lumping it up. Alright guys, so you can see, see how rich, rich and, 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 um, and good this looks so far. It's just cooking slowly right now. I'm going to let this cook for about another 7 or 8 minutes and then I'm going to turn the stove off. And then we're going to sweeten it and then we're going to dig in. So that go on good now. This guys, at this point, guys, I'm doing the, the sweetening process, okay? So I just grate her some nutmeg. You could smell the fresh, beautiful, happy flavor coming out of nutmeg. To be honest with you, nutmeg is one of my most favorite spice. I just love the scent of it. It, it. it makes me feel happy. That's what it does for me, to be honest. If I just smell nutmeg, it just changes my mood. Right, here I'm going to add a little bit of almond extract these are optional okay you don't have to really use this but I just like the little extraness okay get that blended in some vanilla extract as well just a little bit just flavor I already added some in the, in the water in the milk rather I'm just boosting the flavor now mm. okay so now I'm going to add some sweetened condensed milk at this point guys i i'm gonna leave it up to your own discretion you are gonna choose how sweet you want it but remember this milk is very sweet so if you like it super sweet then go for it okay i'm not gonna tell you use all of it i'm not gonna say use you know whatever you figure it out okay you can always add it but you can't remove it right so if it's not too sweet you can add some more but if it's too sweet, then you're in problems. So use your own judgment. Mm, look how creamy and nice this is. So what I'm talking about, there's no lump, guys. That's the kind of consistency you want. This will keep you filled for for hours. All you need is just water. And you know, it's healthy. It's healthy. that if you're lazy you can't cook call me porridge you because you have to work on this <laughs> true man not working at this you have to have a good rhythm in your waist <laughs> yeah all right so that looks good so if you want this to taste even better you just let it sit for a couple of minutes and let everything just gel together then you serve and enjoy all right all right guys so now i'm gonna dish a spoon and a half 
Look how creamy. Ooh. Guys, you smell all the beautiful aroma coming out of this. So nice and creamy and consistent it is. I tell you. Mm. Yeah, I tell you. Guys, this is it. Well, well, well. Guys, thank you again for sticking around. I am here with the grand reveal of my simple cornmeal porridge. It tastes and smell bomb already. I'm telling you, you can smell all the aroma just permeating out of it, right? So, let me tell you something, guys. Um, cornmeal porridge is hot, so don't just dig into that. All right, be careful. I topped it off with some cinnamon rolls or cinnamon sticks, um, some crackers, that's all you're gonna need, a good spoon and a hungry belly. All right, so let's begin and see what that feels like, tastes like. You make sure it's here, cool it, yeah? Oh my gosh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My goodness. Just like mama used to make it. Whoa. This, there's just so much going on in this, guys. Everything just gel together. You can taste the cinnamon. You can taste the, the, the condensed milk. You can taste the almond milk. It's my happy family. It's just joy. Jesus, please. Mmm. A good banana life. I'm not lie, guys. Anyways, I want to say bye to you. I'm going to stick around and enjoy this. But before I go, I want to say thank you for your subscription. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your support. And like I mentioned in earlier in the video, that I'm going to be making other versions of this corning porridge. So if you like it, if you like this video, just subscribe, click the bell icon, and that will take you or update you on my other postings when they come up, all right? Thank you for your support. Stay safe, peace and love, and just have a good time, all right? I'm out. Mm. Mm, so good.